Hello everyone, Josh first back again bringing you guys some more Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross and today we're going to be showing off a little bit of our new boy Gother and how good he really is. Now we're going to be showing him off here in Red Demon Extreme alongside one of my, my guild mates and fellow subscriber here to the channel, Happy D. Um, you can see here my team really quick. So we have our girl Jericho that's going to be going in there for that high damage. We're going to be having our boy of course Red Gother. Who is currently running HP and defense gear. Um, same can be said, of course, also for Gustav. Now, Gustav is very interesting how we built him. He's actually built in a way that may shock some of you. I don't want to really spoil the gear that I have on him because that might be for another video. But it'll have a little something to do with his passive. Now, I also wanted to run Red Slater. Um, but I have no room for him. Now, the reason why I'd want to run Red Slater is Red Slater actually has two gears that I currently run on him. One for PvP and one for PvE content like boss raids because of his passive as well. So I have a, spe a specific gear for him, but I just don't have room for that right now. So, and not to mention this is a go through showcase. So let's go ahead and get right into all the good stuff. All right, so here we go. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. If you are, definitely go ahead down to the comment section and let me know. Alright, so there's the red demon that we've fought a gazillion times by now. Alright. So we're going to try and get a rank 2 setup. Okay, he has a, a freeze available, so that works for us perfectly. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of all these garbage cards because we really don't care about really any of these cards. We just want to kind of get them out of the way. And he is running Blue Slayer, so this is going to go very, very quick alongside my Jericho. We're going to make very quick work of this boss. Look at that Slater going in. And wait till that Slater gets an upgrade... If we can just pull into a rank up. There we go. Let me go ahead and move these over. Let me go ahead and pop that. There we go. Now everyone's getting ranked up. Woo! Beautiful, right? Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and just... um. I guess we're going to go into our Jericho. Let's go into our Jericho debuff card. It doesn't really matter. Um, his cards are going to be upgraded as well. All those cards that he just played are going to be upgraded to bronze. There we go. We got some bronze cards. I'm sorry, silver, not bronze. My apology. And he's going to be hitting very hard now. 71k, easy. So we're already making quick work of this demon. Here comes the red demon with his Tourette Syndrome. All right. He says unusable. That's fine. We have one. So let me go over here and tell him that we have one. Usable. Boom. Money. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and do this. We'll go into that. And then we'll go in and play our freeze. I wanted to hang on to that freeze, but it is what it is. Let's go and remove that chat. All right, here goes Slater going in there with some good big boy damage. And we got Jericho in there with her big girl damage. Look at that, 92k, nothing. Easy, easy. All right, there we go. We're setting up for that final turn. Lovely. So we're going to go ahead here, and we're going to drag this one over. Go ahead and pop that, get those cards all upgraded. That'll, that uh, rank 1 freeze will become a rank 2 freeze. Go ahead and pop this and pop this. Uh, oh, actually, no. I actually uh, forgot I already, I already uh, swapped cards around, so I couldn't use that yet. Rip. Got a little ahead of myself there. Thought it was taking four turns. <laughs> but we're all good. Nicely done. 41K. Easy. Because we're again, we're ranking up our uh, our friends' cards as well as our own. So, and with two Gothers, this gets pretty crazy. You have a whole hand of gold easily. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and play. 
He's got a used born. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just play those. And see if we can't roll into a rank up card so we can make that freeze a gold freeze. And then just finish this boss off like nothing. Now, I believe the fastest we were able to actually finish the Red Demon off was in four turns. Like, legit four turns from phase one to phase three with two go throughs. It was actually pretty crazy. I was not recording at that time, so I didn't catch that fight. But, man, that would have been amazing. All right, so let's see if we can roll into a rank up and turn that two into a three. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it, but it's, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. So we're going to go ahead and just pop that just to get some more crit chance in here because I believe our Jericho is chilling now at about, eh, let's see, her crit chance is 92.4%, not too shabby. Usable? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this into this and see if we can get the crit for the one shot and then the boss will be dead. It looks like he's going to be setting up for a similar play with his Slater. So I'm pretty sure this boss, aka the Red Demon, is going down this turn. Oh, yeah. And there you go. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Gother the goat at it again. Ranking them cards up. Thinking that he's just too, too cool for school, man. But there you guys go. A little Gother showcase. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I didn't want the video to be too, too long. And I didn't want it to be too... Um, you know too much in depth because I think a lot of you by now know kind of a little bit about what uh, You know go through can do there's like a gazillion videos out there I just wanted to personally show you guys my go through in action now before you guys go anywhere I'm gonna show you his gear really really quick. I actually took his gear From my blue king and I slowly up. Well, I don't want to say slowly. I slightly upgraded it just a bit uh, Let me show you guys my go through really really fast Uh go through all right so he's chilling right now at 34,000 combat power uh combat class here on global uh 7400 attack 5200 defense and 96,000 almost 97,000 hp now when he is linked up with blue king i have over 105,000 hp because blue king is also rocking uh hp and defense set now here is his gear you can see there that he's getting over 40, almost 44,000 from HP. I really need to work on his belt a bit more. As you can see, it's not perfect. But, I mean, when you got to use diamonds to reroll or anvils, you know, sometimes you got to work with what you can get. I'm getting an additional almost 13% HP from the right side, which is not bad. Um, maybe one of these days I'll get really crazy and try to make all those closer to 3% each. Um, up here, we're getting almost 13,000. I'm sorry, 13,000. 13% 13 from his attack. So this is a pretty good piece of gear. Again, if I uh, get very crazy one day, I'll try to maybe even push those up closer to the 3% mark on all those as well. And then, of course, his defense uh, he's getting here. Not bad as well. Again, we could push these closer to threes if we really want to min-max in our CCs, but that costs a lot of gold. So we really wasn't too worried about that quite yet. But nonetheless, he's doing okay. And you'll notice here that I definitely need to fix this piece of gear. Because it has crit chance, pierce rates that I just don't want. I need to get rid of those one day. But again, it costs diamonds, it costs anvils, and just really, just it takes a lot of time and patience. So, but we'll get to it one day. But anyways, he's looking really good. I like the way it came out. Um, and that is my goal to showcase. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, maybe we'll do some PvP videos with him in the future. If you guys want to sneak peek at my PvP team, I'll show you that right now. Boom. There you go. Now, this is about 5,000 CC lower than my previous um, elite team. So, because of that, I do have to run evasion food or CC team. I'm sorry, CC boost food to try and get me over some of the megalodons that I run into in the higher ranks of uh, geared. But so far, this team has been a lot of fun, but I'm still not done with it. I really need to finish off on my Slater, getting him to six star awaken. So you guys will see this team um, in probably the coming days via a live stream or through Discord streaming. However, I start, you know, playing this team out. But you guys will see it hopefully soon. Um, it's been a ton of fun building this team. And hopefully it's going to be a ton more fun playing with it. So hopefully that's all that I need to go over with our boy Gother. I mean, the dude can just rank up cards. He's OP. His... 
his freaking uh, ultimate removes ult gauges, just completely just wrecking teams. What more can I say about the GOAT? <laughs> so there you guys go. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to tick notifications, subscribe for more content here on the channel. Um, go ahead and, of course, like the video if you did. Comment below if you guys were having a lot of fun with Gother or, or Gallant. I did not pull Gallant, so I can't showcase him right now. But uh, for those of you who did, hope you guys are enjoying him as well. And can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Until then, don't forget to, again, subscribe. We're almost at 24,000 subscribers. So let's try and get there, guys. Uh, maybe by sometime in April. We'll see. But anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Good luck. Have fun, stay safe, and peace.